익숙한 명작 읽기 The Jungle Book 챕터 1 A Babe in the Woods 온 a warm summer evening, a family of wolves were sleeping in their home. Their home was a cave in the Sioni Hills in the south of India. The father awoke from his sleep. He stood up and looked at the mother wolf and the four cubs. We must go out and look for food, said father wolf. He heard a familiar voice say, Good luck. It was Tabaki. a jackal who was always making trouble. Shere Khan, the tiger is coming here for food, said Tabaki. Impossible. He must tell us first, said Father Wolf. He is hunting men, not animals tonight, said Tabaki. But the jungle law doesn't permit man killing. It only brings men with guns. Then, they heard a noise very close to them. It's a man-cub, said Father Wolf. A baby was in front of them. He had no clothes. The baby walked to Mother Wolf. Look, he is feeding with the other cubs, she said. I have heard of this happening before. At that moment, Shere Khan's large head appeared in the cave. <laughs> Shere Khan, It is good to see you. What do you want? asked Father Wolf. I am looking for a man-cub. I know he is in there with you. Give him to me, demanded Shere Khan. Shere Khan was a very big and scary tiger. But Father Wolf was not scared because the tiger was too big to enter the cave. No, you cannot have him. He is ours now. said Father Wolf. I will raise him as my son, said Mother Wolf. Go away, Shere Khan, fish killer. This made Shere Khan very angry. That man cub will be mine one day, you thieves, Shere Khan said and left the cave. Father Wolf was very surprised. Do you really want him as your own son? He asked Mother Wolf. Yes, let's keep him. I want to call him Mowgli, the frog, she said. What about the law of the jungle? The law says that when all wolf cubs can run, they must go to the pack. Father Wolf was worried, but they decided to raise Mowgli as their own cub. Mowgli ran and played with all of the other cubs. One day, there was a pack meeting at the Meeting Rock. Akela, who was a gray wolf, was the leader. He called for all of the wolf cubs to stand before him. Father Wolf pushed Mowgli in front of Akela. Then, from somewhere in the trees, the wolves heard a growl. It was Shere Khan. He is mine, he growled. Akela, unafraid, said, Who will speak for this man-cub? Except for his father and mother, two voices are needed. Baloo, a brown bear, and Bagheera, a panther, entered the circle of wolves. I will speak for him, they said. It is very bad to kill a man-cub, said Bagheera. Also, a man-cub cannot hurt you. He may even help you later. I will also teach him all of the jungle laws, said Baloo. The other wolves agreed. Akela was happy with the decision. He will be able to help us later when he is a man. You must raise and teach him well. 
So Mowgli became a member of the Sioni Wolf Pack. Father Wolf, Baloo, and Bagheera taught Mowgli everything he needed to know. Chapter 2 The Monkey People Many years went by, and Mowgli grew into a strong boy. Baloo taught him to speak in different jungle languages, but Mowgli liked to play instead of studying his lessons. One day, Baloo hit Mowgli on the head when he wasn't paying attention. This made Mowgli unhappy. Bagheera talked to Baloo. He is just a young boy. Be gentle with him. He will be safe only when he knows all the jungle words, said Baloo. Baloo continued the lesson. Say the jungle words to the hunting people. We are of the same blood, you and I, said Mowgli. Very good. Now say it to the birds in the sky. Mowgli did this for the birds in the sky. Baloo praised him. Nothing will ever hurt you if you remember these lessons. You will understand me when you are an adult. Then Mowgli stood and said, My people will always be with me. I will live with them high in the trees. This surprised Baloo very much. Mowgli, what did you say? Did you meet the Bandar Log people? Baloo and Bagheera both looked angry. When I was in the trees, the monkey people came to me. They gave me food and played with me. I want to play with them again. They said that one day I would be their leader, said Mowgli. No, Baloo said very angrily. You have learned the laws of the jungle people. The monkey people have no laws. They are bad. You must stay away from them. Mowgli now felt very bad. After the lesson, the three of them went to sleep. Suddenly, Mowgli awoke and found himself high in the trees. Tiny hands were carrying him away. Baloo and Bagheera were following them. They shouted out for the monkeys to stop. The monkeys just laughed at them and took Mowgli away. Mowgli was very afraid. He looked into the sky and saw a kite. We are of the same blood, you and I. Mowgli called to the kite in bird language. Who are you? asked the kite. I am Mowgli, a man cub. Please tell Baloo and Bagheera where I am. We cannot keep up with them. They are so fast, said Baloo. Let's ask Ka, the big python, for his help. He will find Mowgli easily, said Bagheera. Baloo and Bagheera found Ka sleeping in the sun. He was a huge brown and yellow snake. They made some noise to wake him up. Hello, Ka greeted them. We are searching for food, they told him. We are looking for the Bandar log. Really? Let's go together. I am starving, said Ka. The kite flew to them and said, A man cub spoke jungle words to me. The Bandar log took him to the lost city. We must go immediately, said Bagheera. You are faster than me, said Baloo. Go ahead first. I will catch up to you. Mowgli was not happy to be with the Bandar Log. This is very bad, Mowgli thought. Mowgli looked into the sky. It was getting dark, and there were clouds in the sky. I will try to escape when it is dark, he thought. Chapter 3 Escape from the Lost City Bagheera and Ka were now at the Lost City. We must be very careful. There are hundreds of monkeys, but there are only two of us. I will go to the West Wall and attack them from up high, said Ka. 
good luck, said Bagheera. The panther then went to fight the monkeys. He hit them very hard, but there were so many of them. While this was happening, other monkeys dragged Mowgli away. There was nothing Mowgli could do to help Bagheera. Then he had an idea. Bagheera, go into that tank of water nearby. Monkeys won't attack you. They hate water. Bagheera heard that and ran to the tank. He was happy that Mowgli was safe. At that moment, Baloo entered the lost city. He started fighting the monkeys. Ka was coming slowly down from the west wall. He entered the circle of monkeys around Baloo. It's Ka! It's Ka! They screamed. All of the monkeys were very afraid. Sssss! Ka spoke. Everything was silent. Ka's one word was enough to make the Bandar log stop. Now Bagheera climbed out of the tank. The monkeys will not move, said Ka. Thank you, Ka, said Baloo and Bagheera. You're welcome. Go and find the man-cub, said Ka. Mowgli, where are you? I am trapped. I am in this room and I cannot get out, cried Mowgli. Ka hit the wall several times. Eventually, he made a hole and Mowgli came out through it. Mowgli ran to Baloo and Bagheera and hugged them. You are badly injured because of me. We're all right. You must thank Ka, said Baloo. Mowgli turned around and looked at the great snake. We are of the same blood, you and I, Mowgli told him in snake tongue. You speak my language very well. You should go. You must not see what I will do here from now. Ka then turned and went to the monkeys. They were completely still. Ka began to dance in front of them. All of the monkeys watched Ka move his body left and right. None of the monkeys could move. Neither could Baloo and Bagheera. They were all under the python spell. Only Mowgli was not affected by the snake. Come close to me, Ka ordered. The monkeys all moved closer. So did Baloo and Bagheera. Just then, Mowgli shook Baloo and Bagheera. It broke Ka's spell on them. They woke up. We must leave this place, Mowgli told them. Yes, let's go. But Mowgli, keep your hands on us. If you don't, we may go back to Ka. Then he will eat us. The three of them walked into the jungle. Ka will have a full belly tonight. But Mowgli, we suffered because of you. You played with the Bandar Log. Then they bit us and hit us, said Bagheera. Mowgli hung his head in shame. I know, I am sorry, he said. It was very wrong of me. The jungle law says you must be punished, said Bagheera. Yes, you should punish me, said Mowgli. Bagheera hit Mowgli. However, Mowgli did not cry. They then returned home. Chapter 4 The Final Meeting As Mowgli was growing up, he noticed something strange. None of the animals could look him in the eyes, but he did not understand why. He was a friend of all the animals except Shere Khan. Shere Khan knew the leader of the wolf pack, Akela, was now very old. He was telling the younger wolves that Mowgli should not be living here. Bagheera heard of this and told Mowgli, You must always be careful. Akela will not be the leader forever. Shere Khan wants to kill you. You must kill him first. But we are all family, said Mowgli. You are a man. You are clever. You are different, Bagheera told him. 
But I never knew that before. When a new leader comes, you must go to the village and get some red flower. That will protect you. Red flower was fire, and all of the animals were afraid of it. In the distance, Mowgli could hear some wolves hunting a deer. Akila, you must prove your strength. Kill the deer, ordered another wolf. But Akila could not kill the deer. Mowgli was very worried. He went to the village and got some fire. He took it back to the jungle. That night there was a meeting at the meeting rock. Mowgli went there. Akila was usually sitting high up on his rock, but tonight he wasn't. He was beside the rock. Now a younger, stronger wolf would be able to take his place. Mowgli sat down in the circle with his pot of fire. Suddenly, he heard a familiar voice. It was Shere Khan. There is no wolf on the rock to lead you. Can Shere Khan be your leader? The other wolves said, Akila must speak first. Akila started to speak. I have been your leader for a long time, but now I have failed to kill a deer. The jungle law says you have the right to kill me. Shere Khan laughed at the old wolf. You are just an old wolf. You will die soon. It is the man-cub who must die. He has lived in the jungle for too long. Give him to me. Some young wolves agreed. Yes, he must go. He is our brother, Akila shouted out. He has done everything with us. Most of the others shouted, But he is a man. He should not be in the jungle. Mowgli was very angry now. I thought we were brothers, but now I will never call you my brothers again. I choose my destiny. I have the red flower. I have my own power. Mowgli dropped the fire pot and some spilled on the ground. The other animals saw the fire and became very afraid. I will leave this place. I will find my own people and live with them. But before I go, Shere Khan, the cow killer, Mowgli then hit Shere Khan on the head with a burning piece of wood. This is what men do to cow killers. I will not return to this rock until I have the skin from your dead body. Mowgli said goodbye to his wolf family. Come back and visit when you are a man, said his wolf mother, father and brothers. I will come, and I will bring the coat of Shere Khan. Then Mowgli left and went to find others like himself. Chapter 5 A Village Life Mowgli left the jungle and found a village. There were many boys there watching cows and buffaloes. When they saw Mowgli, they were frightened. They ran back to the village. The boys brought back many of the village people. The people looked at Mowgli. There were many marks on his body. They are wolf bites, said one person. Mesua, remember Mesua. Your child was taken by a tiger, said another person. Yes, he really looks like my son. I will take him to my house, said Mesua. Mowgli went to live with the woman in her house. He didn't like it at all, but he tried his best. He also did his best to learn the people's language. I am a man, he thought. I must live like a man. Mowgli became used to his new life. He learned many new things. He learned how to talk and how to eat like people. He wore clothes and joined the village people for festivals. He worked to take care of the cows and buffaloes. One night, he climbed through a window. He wanted to sleep under the stars. He lay down on a field, and he soon felt a cool, wet nose on his face. It was Grey Brother, the eldest of Mother Wolf's cubs. Grey Brother, I'm so happy to see you. I have news for you. 
You burned Shere Khan's fur with the fire. He is very angry, and he has gone away. However, he made a promise. When he returns, he will kill you, said Grey Brother. I made a promise too, said Mowgli. Please always bring me news, Grey Brother. We will need to meet again, said Mowgli. I will go to the huge tree by the river every day and wait for you. Every day, Mowgli went to the tree. For a very long time, Grey Brother did not come. But one day, he was there waiting for Mowgli. Shere Khan plans to attack you at the village gate this evening. He is resting in the Wengunga Valley. He ate and drank this morning, Grey Brother told Mowgli. He is such a stupid tiger, laughed Mowgli. His stomach is full and heavy now. He will not be able to run fast. I can surprise Shere Khan in the valley. I have an idea, said Mowgli. I will take this herd of cows to the end of the valley. They will block Shere Khan. Then I will take the buffaloes and send them running down the valley. They will chase Shere Khan and the cows will stop him from escaping. I can catch him between the cows and the buffaloes. But I cannot do this alone. I want to help, said Grey Brother. There is someone else who can help too. It is Akela, said Grey Brother. At that moment, Akela appeared. Mowgli was very happy. We must do it quietly. We cannot wake Shere Khan, said Mowgli. So Akela and Mowgli quietly took the buffaloes to the top of the valley. Now Mowgli was riding Rama, the biggest buffalo. He shouted out, Shere Khan, it is time for us to fight. Akela then forced the buffaloes to run down the valley. Shere Khan heard the sound of running buffaloes. He had to run to escape, but he couldn't run very fast. The food in his stomach made it difficult. He ran to the bottom of the valley and then saw the cows. He could not escape. Very quickly, they were upon him. There, Mowgli got off Rama. He looked back and saw Shere Khan lying dead on the ground. We did it! shouted Mowgli. We killed Shere Khan! Mowgli took the coat from the tiger with his knife. Let's go to my home in the jungle, he said to Grey Brother and Akela. They went to Mother Wolf's cave. Mother! Mowgli called out. I have returned. I killed Shere Khan. His mother and his wolf family came to greet him. We are so happy that you are home, they said. At that moment, Bagheera appeared. Little brother, you have returned, he said. Mowgli showed them Shere Khan's coat. I am not a member of the wolf pack, said Mowgli, and I will not go back to the village. I will hunt in the jungle alone. Mowgli's wolf family then said, We will hunt together. We are one family. So Mowgli and his wolf family left the meeting rock. They lived happily together in the jungle. <laughs>